Why not let's go over what I have set up here. It's quite basic in terms of a little ice cold beer setup. And it's something that you can create yourself quite easily. Um, you don't even have to have a controller. You could do it just with a keyboard if you like. Look, just to show the, the controller panel itself, I mean, this is just, this is classy. This is blue, blue tacked on there. So it was pretty temporary when I set this up. Uh, but here's an original uh, control panel from an ice cold beer machine. And it's actually got a, almost like a material texture to the top of it, which is actually quite nice. These are two-way joysticks on here. They only go up and down. So if you did get joysticks yourself and you wanted to create your own board, I mean, this is just, you know, a block of wood here, uh, cut a couple of holes in it and stick in a couple of two-way joysticks and you're done, other than the central button here for start. Uh, you do need to put a coin in as well. You need to think about that. Currently, I have a coin in and the start uh, wired to the same uh, the same button. I've got a little encoder here, which actually is joystick uh, encoder. I mean, you, you could really use an iPack or something like that, some sort of form of keyboard encoder, because uh, that's all you really need. Uh, there's plenty of uh, explanations on the internet of how to wire up joysticks in this sort of uh, configuration. So yeah, create it yourself. Slab of wood, a couple of joysticks, off you go. Or try and do what I did, did and find one of these uh, panels. They do come up from time to time. Uh, I think it finishes it off and it feels nice to actually play it on the, on the real controller. So enough of that, maybe we should just get into a bit of gameplay if you're not aware of Ice Cold Beer before. Uh, I, I mentioned previously that I did see it on John's Arcade, which was the first time that I'd seen it, and it's not available here in Australia. So uh, it's pretty cool that someone created it in software, and I'll show you who that person was in a moment and where you can get the software from. It's completely free. And um, I thought it was great that I could use that software and, and a control panel to recreate the experience. So the object's quite simple. You've just got to get this little ball, bring it up the... Uh, the screen here and get it into the hole which is currently lit and we just pop that up there and that's labeled number one and we're working our way up the top here to number 10 as you can see these get progressively harder all the way up now i haven't actually got all the way up to 10 i've got to eight i think previously um, and it does get pretty tricky once you get up those higher levels these, these first levels aren't so bad when you get used to the game it's not quite in there we go and the way the game dynamics works is that um, if you pause too long, then it will automatically jump the bar up. Uh, so you've got to watch out for that. You can't, can't stay sitting for too long, which can be tricky up when you're getting up those higher levels and you're trying to balance the ball slowly. It's going to push it up. Uh, if you move the bar, it will sort of reset that counter so it doesn't um, bring that bar back up automatically again. Okay, there we go, number three. Pretty easy so far. Get some bonus points for doing it in a faster way. And get an overall score as well. So for number four here, I think I'll try and just hop up through the middle here. And it's um, a bit of a technique with the joysticks. There we go. So far, so good. My first go. I haven't had a go at this for a little while, but it's a little bit like riding a bike. You don't really forget how to play it once you've played it a few times. And as I said, you know, really easy game for people to just hop on and play. Now, where am I going to go? Right up through the middle there again. There's different ways people like to do each hole, but I quite like to just go up here. And if I remember, there are different difficulty settings uh, settings as well and I do I think I do have it on the easiest one I think it just changes the physics I can't remember now to be honest um, but I'll show you where you can get the software anyway and you can uh, you can look up those details uh, yourself all right we are up to number six nice little details here too got these little um, marks that are on the glass that were on the original one the actual graphics themselves so it's a little bit um there's not really high res as i would like and there is actually a version of this that was created this was a, a standalone application can't recall the application that he used the software it's like a gaming um, 
gaming, some gaming platform that he used to create this. And um, so it's sort of a bit of a standalone, but there was someone that created, uh, or recreated this in Visual Pinball. So that would be interesting, although I wouldn't really want this on my pinball machine. I'd rather have it upright like this. I think it works a lot better. But the graphics on that Visual Pinball ones actually look a lot nicer, look a lot cleaner, but I'm not sure about the physics and all the rest of it. You know, it's a lot of time was spent by Shockman, as, is, as he's known on the VP forums. Uh, he was the developer. And he spent a lot of time here getting these, these physics right. And it feels really good. So I'm not sure what the VP1 feels like. Maybe when I recreate this uh, machine uh, in the theatre somewhere else, I might have a look at the VP version as well and just see, you know, which one's better. Um, but I think this one would be pretty hard to beat. And it's got everything, you know, true to the original machine. Well, where am I going here? This is where it gets hard because you sort of got to go like half over. Oops, you got to go half over like that. Okay, it's a good demonstration. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't watch what I say. I don't always say things like that. Bam, lose the ball. All right, well, I'm up to number eight. Now, I don't fancy my chances, to be honest. Um, do I go the same way or do I have to go a different way here? I'm gonna try and work out. So that's getting a little bit harder. I think once you start remembering, you know, a particular way that you go, it's probably gets a lot easier and I guess it's a machine that if you owned you know you could get you know ridiculously good and maybe it becomes too easy but it's always good for visitors I think um, young children really like it it's really easy and you know some of us older older children <laughs> also like it oh is it going to get past there yep that's fine okay Right, where do I go here? Um, I might have to try, oh, this is gonna be tricky. Now I could, yeah, I could go across here and lose it, that's it. Wow, guys, <laughs> I can't believe this. Surely not, no, I can't jinx myself. Listen to me, I'm jinxing myself. I'm, I'm <laughs> I'll go concentrate, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Let's see if we can get up to... <laughs> I can't, I'm not going to get all the way to number 10, surely. Surely not. Surely not. Never say never. That's what they say, I guess. Well, now I'm not sure which way am I going to go. Okay, I might go up here through the middle again. Quite like this little stretch. And... Guys, if I get all the way to the top, I will be uh, quite amazed, to be honest. Uh, right, but, well, we've got, oh, there we go, spoke too soon. Let's try that again. So only three balls, uh, and I'm obviously just on the second one, so not a bad, a bad shot, but I guess if you get too co cocky and you go too fast, that's when uh, you're liable to to lose a ball. I think this was the right way to go up here. Quite like this little space up this way. That's that. Uh, oh, wow, 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 wow. Still had a very difficult place to go still to get to number nine. So it looks like I'm not gonna get past number nine unless I can pull out a miracle here. Let's see how we go. Come on. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> fail, fail, fail. Well, there you go, guys. That's uh, an example. Uh, not what to do at the end there, but um, anyway, got up to number nine. That's not too bad. Now, what I'll do is I'll just flick out of here. And by the way, if you actually play one of these machines, well, not now, of course, unless some pub still honoring it but uh, back in the day they uh, I think if you got to number 10 you would um, you would be able to get a free beer uh, that was the way that that worked and I guess the more free beers you had the less likely you were going to get back up to 10 again I, 
So the other thing is, is that there was a different version called Zeke's Peak, and uh, Shockman created uh, a, basically the same program with the Zeke's Peak artwork, and it looks like this. And it has slightly different sounds, uh, which are pretty cool. And so this is a little bit more kid friendly. So if you didn't want to have the, the beer theme, then the Zeke's Peak theme would be the way to go. Uh, if you do a search, go to vpforums.org and do a search there for Ice Cold Beer version 3. And you can see there's a thread here uh, from Shockman, who is the creator. Thanks, Shockman. This is an awesome program. Did brilliantly with this. This is so, so good. Lots and lots of fun. Lots of people have played it and had a lot of fun with it and the Dropbox uh, location is, is there. Okay guys, well that's the end of this uh, episode for Ice Cold Beer. I hope you enjoyed that, got something out of that. Remember, please create this thing. It's really easy to create. Thank you um, if you've subscribed and thanks for any likes. Um, please, please provide comments in the comments below and looking forward to providing more videos in the future. So until then, ciao for now.